So if this is my ground, this is 5 volts. Let's assign currents in any direction that you want. I can assign this current, we'll call it I sub 1, I sub 2, I sub 3. This is 5 volts, this is V out, we'll call this Vx. And the method that, uh, I ask you to use here is nodal analysis. I don't have to because I know there's six amps going in, no, no. you know? That's why I'm trying to circle for you, actually. You wrote another current, and you wrote it as this voltage. You know that's six. Why even make another unknown for that? Because that will make it more complicated, another equation. So if we do KCL at Vx, the current in, what's going in? I sub 1 plus the 6 milliamp equals the current coming out, which is what? I sub 2. What's I sub 1? The way the final going in, it's 5 minus Vx over 2k plus 6 milliamp. I sub 2 is Vx minus V out over 6k. And if you multiply everything by 6k, that's your LCD, you'll have 3, that's 15 minus 3 vx plus 36 equals what vx minus v out i think that's 315 minus 3 vx 6 times 6 is 36 vx minus v out okay all the vx is on one side what's 15 and 36 35, 45, 51 is it? Equals 4 Vx minus V out. That's one equation. The other one, this is V out again here. The other one is KCL at V out. The current in, which is what? I sub 2 equals the current out, which is I sub 3. That's Vx minus V out over 6k equals V out minus, what's the voltage here? Six. How about negative 6? Right? So V out minus a negative 6. What's V out minus a negative 6? V out plus 6 over what? 3K. Multiply by 6K, what are you going to have? Vx minus V out equals what? 2V out plus 12. Everything to one side. Vx minus 3V out equals 12. And that's my other equation. How many unknowns? 2. How many equations? Two. Can we get Vx and V out? There we go. Let's go and solve it. Two equations by two unknowns. Four, negative one, 51. The next one is one, negative three, and 12. Oh, I wasn't looking. I got a syntax error, I guess. Let's try again. 4, negative 1, 51, and the other one is 1, negative 3, and 12, and solve it. I get V out to be what? 0.273, and I get Vx to be 12.82. That's question one. Nice and neat. Brandon said to me, that was the worst one. I wasn't sure how you approached it, Brandon. I forgot, you know, because you said you had a problem with this one. Out of all of them, you thought that was the worst one. Some of you actually decided to call this node, give it a, just V4, and this is V5. By doing that, just made it four or five equations by five unknowns. And that's not pretty. 
but if you just write what you know, five volts here, negative six here, why even create an IS3? You know that current going is six milliamp. Let's look at question number two. I'll post these on the web too. This one used mesh analysis, and this is what we have. 12, 6K, 8K, 4K, 4K plus to minus 24. And V out was defined to be right there. And use mesh analysis for this. That means KVL. So I can assign current counterclockwise, clockwise, wherever you want it to be. This is I sub 1, and if you do this, this is I sub 2. And if I know actually what I sub 1 and I sub 2 are, I can solve for V out, because V out is labeled plus to minus, so V out is going to be 4K times the current down, because it's labeled plus to minus. What is the current down? Isn't that I sub 1 minus I sub 2, if you look at it? It's plus on the top, minus on the bottom. So if I know what I sub 1 and I sub 2, I can jump back to this one and I have my V out. So let me do KVL at the first one. This is the first one. First loop. Plus to minus, I always use plus 12. This will be plus to minus 6K times I sub 1 plus to minus 8k times what? I sub 1 minus I sub 2 plus 4k times I sub 1 minus I sub 2 equals 0. 6, 8, and 4. What's 6, 8, and 4? 6, 8, and 4. 18 is it? 18k I sub 1. 8 and 4 is 12, negative 12k. I sub 2 equals what? Negative 12. And that's the first equation. KVL at the second mesh. Here we go, plus 24, plus, I'm traveling clockwise, this will be 4K times I sub 2 minus I sub 1, because I'm going up there, I'm traveling up, plus 8K, I sub 2 minus I sub 1, plus the 4K on the top, I sub 2 is equal to 0. Let's see what we have for I sub 1. 4 and 8, 12, right? That's negative 12K I sub 1. What about I sub 2? 4, 8, and 4. Is that 16? And that's my equation 2. Again, two equations by two unknowns. 18,000, negative 12,000, uh oh, that's negative 12,000, okay, I had 120,000, negative 12, the next one, negative 12,000, 16,000, and negative 24. 
based on my numbers here, I sub 1 is equal negative 0 0.0033, and I sub 2 equals negative 0 0.004. So now if I go back to V out, do I know what V out now? Four K times I sub one, which is negative point zero zero three three minus a minus plus point zero zero four. Point zero zero four minus point zero zero three 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 three, a few of them here times the 4,000, 2 2.67. 2.67. Don't wait till after. I keep after. Okay. okay, number three. The one I'm not gonna like is superposition. That means I gotta do it twice. Here's what I have for number three. Find V out using superposition. Here's my circuit. Nine volts. Three K. Three K. And V out is labeled right here. Three K. 3K, 3K, wow, I didn't notice that, and 6 volts. So superposition says one source at a time. So let me kill the right source. So if I do kill the right source, I'm going to have this, 9, 3K, 3K, so I'm going to call this V out bar. That's the first one. I have 3K. And when you kill a source, it becomes what? A short circuit, right? So that's going to make it 3K in parallel with 3K. And you can still simplify that more. What's 3K in parallel with 3K? When the equal is what? Half the value. So the equivalent of that is half of the number. So I got this. And what do you notice? These two are connected how? Serious, so that would be what? Nine, yep. Three K. Three K. And this will be four point five. They're still in peril. If I combine them, I'm not gonna lose V out. So if I do that again. The product over the sum what's the product over the sum the sum is what the sum is 7.5 so 3 times 4.5 divided by 7.5 1.8 1 now I can do what I can do voltage division, V out bar equals 9 times 1.8K over the sum of them, 3 
plus 1.8k. The k's will cancel each other out. Times 9 divided by what? 4.8 is it? 3.375. That's just the voltage due to source 1. Now we need to find the voltage due to source 2. Put them together and that's your answer. Now let's kill this one. This is 3K. Now it's going to be in parallel with 3K. And we'll call this V out double bar. And you can simplify this any way you want to. I can combine these two guys together and still will not change V out double bar. That would be what? 1.5K. And this is V out double bar. 3K. 3K. Well, wait a minute. Maybe I can do source transformation here. If I do source transformation, I'm going to have a 3K in parallel with the current source. And what's the value of that current? I equals V over R, 6 divided by 3, 2 milliamps. Now these two are combined in parallel, which will make it what, 1.5? Do source transformation again. The worst part about this, just redrawing. And now this will be a volt a resistor on the top of 1.5K with the voltage source of the value equals V equals I times R. 1.5 times 2 milliamp, what's 2 times 1.5? Is that a 3? So you can see where this one is going. Now one more drawing there. Is that a 4.5? Okay. And again, I can use voltage division. V out double bar equals three times 1.5K, that's a K here. Over the sum of them, 1.5 plus 4.5, is that 6K? Is that 0.75? That's one fourth of that. 0.75. So what's V out? V out bar plus V out double bar. I got 3.375 plus 0.75. Was it 4.125, I think, is it? I think most of you got that one right. Really, besides redrawing the stuff, the algebra at the end is not bad, but you gotta redraw, redraw, redraw to get that answer. Number four. Perfect, plenty of time.
question number four is I got a source negative to positive on the top of 12 volts I got 2k and this is 2k and I ask you to find IC ball and I put X's on the circuit for you which means you need to cut the circuit right there three K four milliamp and notice I have two K and one K at the end do I really need to leave them separate So I'll do R7, R Norton, we're doing the Norton equivalent here. R Norton is the same as R7. Since all your sources are independent sources, you can kill them all, which means your voltage source becomes a short circuit. This way I'm cutting the circuit right there. This becomes an open circuit. Well, you know what? I'm going to take the 2K and 1K, put them together, make that what? 3K. That's where that source was. What about the 3K and the 3K here? How are they connected? Six. So that's equal to what? Six. 6K. which you can change it to what? If you don't like the way it looks. Doesn't matter from which side you hang it from. And what's that R Norton? Isn't that the product over the sum? Two times six, which is what? 12K over what? 8K? Is that 1.5? Which one is three? On the left, yeah. That's the three? All, all three the Here? Oh, that's the three? Yep. yep, sorry, yep. Three. So if that's a three, three times six, which is 18. Well, K squared is not really K here, because three times six, K times K should be a mega there. So it's 18 over nine. Can't read my handwriting. which is 2K. That's our Norton. If you want the Norton equivalent, that's what we asked for, right? Find I sub O using Norton. So I gotta find now, what is I short circuit? I need I short circuit. What is that? Because once I have that, I'm gonna replace my circuit with an I short circuit in parallel with the 2K resistor. And remember, I'm chopping the circuit right here. So let me put that 2K back in here and find what I sub O is, which will be half because these guys are equal. Once I know what I short circuit, I O is half that number. So let me find I short circuit. put a wire there and again I can combine these guys into one see that one here right there it doesn't really matter if I put the voltage source on this end I don't like it on the top I like it down here but it really doesn't matter but if you want to move it you can and you can move voltage source down put the resistor up there it won't make any difference So this is I short circuit. And 
And I can take these guys, combine them together into a 3K. I can do a couple of short uh, source, uh, source transformation here. If I do a source transformation, V will be what? 4 times 3? 12. But since this is pushing down, that circuit can be replaced with This will be 3K, 3K, and a voltage source. Notice it's pushing down, it's pointing down. 4 times 3, which is 12. I can take the 3 and 3, put them together, make that a 6. And if I do a KCL, I don't even need a calculator for this. Let me define current going through this one. That's I sub 1, I sub 2, and I'm defining I short circuit is this current. Which if you look at it, what's I short circuit equal to? Yep. So if I know these two, I'm done. So now, let's do KVL right here. 3K times I sub 1. I forgot to write this value, 12 here. Minus 12 equals 0, isn't it? 3K I sub 1 equals 12. What's I sub 1? 4 milliamp. Let's do a loop here. Negative 12 plus 6k I sub 2 equals 0. 6k I sub 2 equals 12. I sub 2 equals what? 2 milliamp. So what's my I short circuit then? 4 minus 2, which is 2 milliamp. So I'm done now. There's my I short circuit, 2 milliamp. R Norton, 2K, and we have that resistor here, 2K, and I'm looking for I sub O. What's I sub O equal to? Current division, 2 milliamp times the 2K over the sum of them 4K, which is 1 milliamp. looks easy when somebody else does it, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's always the case. Just the practice. That's why you really want to do as many problems as you can to make sure, you know, they come out nice. It's just a practice, practice, practice. Unfortunately, we do like four or five problems in each one, and that's not enough. And the last one, Okay, we need to find R sub L for maximum power transfer. That's number six, uh, five, is it? A thousand I sub one. Ten K. R sub L. So we need to figure out what value to use for R sub L. Five K. And this is I sub one. T 
10 milliamp. Ten k. Now, since you have independent and dependent, again, my goal is to replace this with the seven equivalent, which is V seven R seven in series with R sub L. Once I know what R seven is, I know what R sub L for maximum power transfer. You want R sub L to equal R7. So let me see if I can get these values. V7 is V open circuit. So if you open that circuit, this way you have. So it's really the voltage right here. If I know what this voltage and that voltage, I'm done. So if I call this Vx and this is Vy, I want it plus to minus V open circuit. So V open circuit equals what? Vx minus Vy, the difference between this end and that end. And I can use any method I want to now. Now again, I don't have to have a double decker here. I can make them all in one line. I can do source transformation if I want to here. Then I'll lose I sub 1, so I will leave it. So this is V sub X. Just I don't have to go up and down with it now. Thousand I sub one. Ten K. Ten K. And that's V sub Y. If that's V sub X, what's this voltage here? Yep, V sub X plus a thousand I sub one. This is my super node. I can assign current, we'll call this I sub 1, if you want I sub 2 down here. The current entering this node equals the current leaving that node. The super node, KCL of the super node. What is going to that node? What is entering that node? So. 10 milliamp going in, and what's leaving? Oh, sorry, there's I sub 1 here, right? So we're going to call this what? I sub X equals I sub 1 plus I sub X. Ten milliamp equals I sub 1, which is what? Vx minus 0 over 5k plus this voltage minus that or if you want to you can combine these resistors together and drop the VY for now 
and I'll give you one equation by one unknown. But I'll leave it there. Vx plus 1000 I sub 1 minus Vy over the 10k. And we know what I sub 1 is. It's Vx over 5k. So if you do that substitution here, What's 1,000 times Vx over 5,000? Is that Vx over 5? Yes. For the big fraction, what's my LCD? 50K? I mean 10K, I'm sorry, 10K. 10 times 10, which is what? 100 equals what? 2VX plus VX plus half of VX minus VY. 100, 2, 3, 3 and a half. Hopefully we're good, we didn't make a math mistake on it. And the other one, we can do a KCL of that node, the current going in, which is what? I sub X equals the current leaving, which is what? I sub two. And again, I can do this math, VX plus, we know this is VX over five, we just did that. A thousand times VX minus zero over 5,000, that's VX over five, that's what this value, minus, Vy divided by 10k equals what? Vy minus 0 over 10k. By 10k is gone. 1 over 5, wait a minute, 1 over 5 is not 0.5, it's not 0.2. Is it 1 over 5? Yeah. That's a 0.2. Vx plus 0.2 Vx equals what? Is it 2 Vy? 1.2 Vx equals 2 Vy. Divide by 2. Vy equals what? 0.6 Vx. Do that substitution here. Three point two minus point six. Is that two point four? No, two point six, I think is it. I should use a calc there. Divide by two point six. What's hundred divided by two point six? Thirty eight point four six. And Vy is going to be what? 0.6 times that number. 23. Is it 23.08, I think? So what's V open circuit? We said earlier that's Vx minus Vy. Thirty-eight point four six minus twenty-three point zero eight, fifteen point three eight. Fifteen point three eight. So I found the open circuit. I need to find I short circuit so I can get R seven. When you have a dependent independent. R7N is V open circuit over I short circuit. So I'm going to stick a wire here now. 
and see what will happen. And again, once you know that, you know V open circuit, I mean R seven equals V open circuit over I short circuit. That's why we're finding I short circuit. So let's take a wire, put it right there, and calculate what the current. Now I define my voltage plus to minus going plus to that means I need to find the current going that direction. again I know we got a problem because she knows I'm in class a thousand I sub one ten K ten K and this is I short circuit and I can, if I can figure out what that value is, we are done. So what method do you want to use? Well, I can use KCL here. I mean KVL. This current here. I'm not putting one on the right side because I know what that current is. <laughs> so let's call these currents one and two. So I short circuit is going to be what? I1 minus I sub 2. This one, I know what that current is. This current here, if I label like this, that's 10 milliamp. That's equal to that current. So if I do a KVL right here, I have 10K times I sub 1 plus 5K times I sub 1 minus what? 10 milliamp is equal to zero. 10K and 5K, that's what? 15K I sub 1 equals 5 times 10, 50. What's I sub 1? 50 over 15 milliamp. Fifty divided by fifteen, three point three three. 
the outside one, this one. Negative a thousand I sub one plus ten K times I sub two is equal to zero. Ten thousand I sub two equals what? A thousand I sub one? We can drop a thousand out of both of these. I sub two is equal what? I sub one over ten. So what's I sub two? Zero point three three. What is my I short circuit now? I sub one, which is three point three 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 minus zero point three three three. That's three milliamp. What is R feminine? V open circuit over I short circuit. I forgot what V open circuit was. It's been a while. 15.4 roughly. Divided by three milliamp. 15 divided by three, that would be kilo. 15.4 divided by 3 is 5.1, 3 kilo ohm. That's what R7 is. So for maximum power transfer, here's my circuit. For maximum power transfer, I need RL to equal R7, which equals 5.13K ohm. So my circuit will look like this. A voltage source V7 of 15.4. This is R7, which is 5.13K. RL, which is 5.13K. And can I find now V what the maximum power transfer, not V, I don't need to find V. Maximum power transfer to the load, we said last time, is what? V7 squared divided by what? Four times R7, because RL equals R7. So that's 15.4 squared divided by four times 5.13k. Four times 5.13, and that'll be in milli. Oh, I forgot to put the four point in parentheses. I gotta make sure they go in parentheses. Four times 5.13, close parentheses. And I got 11.6 milliwatts. So hopefully I got these numbers correct. Bless you. Stop recording.